Greetings, theists and non-theists. I'm the Atheist Paladin. This one's for you, Brother Micro 1000. You asked me to provide one source that uh, the, the ancient Israelites came from Canaanites. Well, I can do better than that. I can do more than that. I can actually show that uh, that's the consensus, generally overall, that the Israelites came from some sort of indigenous uh, population there. There being no one theory that is agreed upon, but they all agree upon that there are indigenous. So it's not like as the Bible says. So I'll go for, through uh, certain things. Um, I'm going to go through the first two methods, or the, the first two uh, pretty much agreed ways, and then I'm going to describe why... Um, you can't you can't abide by biblical archaeology basically just there is no correlation of any archaeological evidence there's just many problems with that okay so the first way um, is sort of the nomadic um, absorption sort of theory and this one was a pre it's pretty much uh, disregarded but uh, it has been refined and it has been improved um, the person who who said that it was from a nomadic group was Israel Finkenstein. Um, yeah, he's definitely Jewish, and let me see, he has. Uh, oh yes, he is in Tel Aviv University. He has a, and he's currently a professor of archaeology there, and he has a PhD. So. Again, this is somebody who says that they are indigenous. Hmm. But this re idea was refined by uh, William G. Denver, who is also uh, an archaeologist, of course, uh, from University of Arizona, I believe. Um, and he got his uh, uh, PhD from Harvard. And he basically said that um, this was more likely uh, not necessarily a nomadic uh, group, but a group that people weren't so well off, and they were just basically looking for a better life in the higher hills. And so this idea, this idea is combined with um, sometimes uh, them accepting a, a group from Egypt, coming from Egypt, who they say were probably Yahwehists. So this, 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 they have this absorption, and we have the newfound idea of Israel identity. And uh, while this may explain where the idea of the Exodus may come from, they don't certainly don't think it happened the way they said it did, um, for obvious reasons. Um, And later on, they say that with this new identity, they spread out, and of course, they take over some Canaanite cities. And uh, not as the Bible suggests, they suggest as they not always committed genocide, but sometimes the population was absorbed. So we have, um, at least in this scenario, that um, that they are of Canaanite descent, and that they also mixed frequently. Um, the second idea, the one that was actually proposed in the film I suggested that you watch, was that uh, it was due to basically a class upheaval between um, the rich and the poor in the Canaanite society. Now this has been criticized mainly because it's sort of like uh, Marxian in its uh, uh, narration, but th this is what uh, is also accepted. And this was, uh, I believe, Proposed by uh, Robert B. Coote and uh, Kenneth o, o White Whitelam. Uh, Coote is also a PhD from Harvard, and uh, White Whitelam, I believe he is currently in the biblical studies in the University of uh, Sheffield. Um, both of them are also archaeologists in the field, and uh, 
again, this idea is also, um, it's contentious, but it also explains a lot of things. Um, now, the why the biblical archaeology is a bunch of bullcrap is due to a few things. Um, take for the stories of Joshua and the conquering of Jericho. Now, if you actually do archaeology on that site, you'll actually discover that Jer Jericho was conquered, but it, uh, the date's normally typically rendered to very early Bronze Age. As we get into the late Bronze Age, to which these conquerings should have occurred, um, it seems like this land was abandoned and didn't revive until uh, later into the Iron Age. So that there comes a few problems. Most of the places that um, that is claimed that is conquered by the Bible uh, were typically, according to archaeology, were just simply abandoned sites. And not forgetting that there is no archaeological evidence for the Exodus or any massive group of several million people wandering the desert for four years. So if you're going to present this idea that I am somehow um, rewriting history with my new atheist, uh, my new atheist ideas, no, I'm not. This is pretty much accepted scholarship. This is not nothing new. Somebody pulled out their ass. This is not, you know, the the Christ conspiracy by Acharya S. N no, I'm not talking about that crap. I'm talking about actual what people in the field say. So I'm not bullshitting you. You can go all look all this up. So if you want to know, the names will be below, and you can research this shit yourself. I wasn't shitting you. I never was. It's about time you educate yourself. Thank you.